happy Saturday. Can't tell by the fact that it's Saturday morning and I'm walking. I'm going to get Saturday donuts as I do. And I thought I'd vlog a little bit this weekend. Um, it's a long weekend for us. It's Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, so we have Monday off. I don't have a lot of plans. I do have to work a little bit today. I have to help run a information session for some of our new students, and that's at three o'clock. And I do have to run a 5K today. That's at least on my schedule. But it has been really bad weather all day, or at least all morning, so I'm not sure what that's gonna look like. Um, I don't think gyms are open still, so I don't think I can go and get it done on the treadmill. We're just gonna play by ear. If I don't make it to running the 5k today, that's fine. I can always make it up on Monday or just skip it. It's a short run. I'm doing a little walk right now, so I have my long run tomorrow, seven miles, so if I have to skip 5k today, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So I'm not too worried about it. But I'm going to get breakfast, some coffee, some donuts. Um, because there's finally been a break in the rain. And I can walk. And then when I get home, I'll tell you guys what I'm reading this weekend. These are the delicious donuts that I have just picked up. The usual Oreo and strawberry frosted. We did check out a new donut place a few weeks ago, um, which is so incredible and I'll have to show you guys during a vlog in the future. Um, they're currently closed because unfortunately one of their kitchen staff tested positive for COVID. <laughs> um, but so delicious, so I'll, I'll need to be showing you guys. But got my usual from my usual spot um, and I usually split these with bread. <laughs> so we usually like cut both in half and each have a half of each. Um, so happy about that. Uh, wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm reading this weekend. I have two physical books and a Kindle book that I have in mind for the weekend. Uh, the first one is a book that I'm in the middle of. I'm about 230 pages into it, but it's Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. Really enjoying this. Very lighthearted, very fun, very romantic, very steamy. So this is very much so an adult romance. <laughs> so uh, definitely not really appropriate for uh, younger readers, um, but you know, do with that information what you will. It's a really enjoyable book. I'm really having fun with it. I started this last weekend and um, I had stupidly left the book. I think I left it on my bed and Brett and I left the house for a little bit, probably to go get like breakfast sandwiches or something. And um, Snowy had a ball with it. Um, she didn't do too much damage. She only like ripped a couple pages, but I think if we were gone for any longer, she would have uh, went to town on this one for sure. The other physical book that I'm working on is Brave Story by Mayuki Mayabi. This is a book that I started reading in July of 2019 and put down for one reason or another. I know I was having a really hard time with my mental health during um, that time, uh, during the summer of 2019. So I put this down and I really haven't touched it since. Um, I do remember quite a bit of the story, so I'm just picking it up where I left off. But my plan is to hopefully get through this book in the month of January. And what I've done is I've divided it up in 50 page increments and I'm gonna try to do 50 pages a day until I get done with the book because it is quite chunky. It's over 800 pages long, but it's a middle grade. Um, so I will hopefully get through it pretty easily. I did 50 pages last night, so I'll do 50 pages for each day of this uh, little weekend reading vlog as well. And the last book, like I mentioned, is a Kindle book. Um, I, hi Snowy, she's underneath the tripod. Oh, there it goes. Being very fussy today because uh, our next door neighbors are doing like construction to their place, it sounds like. So it's like a lot of hubbub on the other wall. She's very like confused as to what's happening. The last book I mentioned is a Kindle book um, and that actually came out of this. This is a TBR jar that I don't think I've contributed new books to in like over two years. Um, so this has a lot of my back list of TBR books in it. So in my mind, I'm like, I'd really like to kind of get through some of these older books that are on my TBR shelf. Um, things that are way back from like 2016 when I first started BookTube. Um, I would really love to actually prioritize some of these books. 
obviously like as you grow your book collection you start to forget like when you actually acquired things but I, this is nice because it's kind of like a time capsule in a way I haven't added to this in a couple of years so all of these books and I went through and I like took out all the books that I've read or unhauled all of these books are things that have been on my TBR shelf for years and years. So I'd really like to get through a lot of these in 2021. Um, and so I had Brett pull one out for me last weekend. Um, and so that's going to be the next book that I pick up. That book is The Mountaintop School for Dogs and Other Second Chances by Ellen Cooney. I remember I saw this book in a Barnes and Noble a long time ago. And I don't know what compelled me to like put it on my Amazon wish list, um, but I did. And then eventually I saw that it was on sale for Kindle and so I downloaded it. Um, so it'll be interesting to read it because I don't really remember why I wanted to read it so long ago. But it has to do with dogs um, and people going to care for them while also having the dogs care for, for them, which is really interesting. So it's kind of like it talks about the idea that dogs and humans have this special bond and they help each other survive in a lot of ways. So it might be a little bit of a tearjerker now that I'm thinking about it. Hopefully I enjoy it, we'll see. So that is the plan for uh, today. Um, it seems to be clearing up a little bit when it comes to the weather. So I think it's 11 o'clock now. So in a couple of hours, I think one o'clock, I'll shoot to go running get that done and then um, my uh, session with the students is around three so I think that is how I'm gonna break up my day so I'm gonna eat breakfast and read for now around one o'clock I will go running and then three o'clock I'll start working and then I'll keep reading after work that's the plan high five all right so it's a little bit before 1 p.m. I am on page 308 of Chloe Brown and really really enjoying it this is such a cute romantic book one of the best romances that i have read in a long while um really really enjoying it i know a lot of people have really enjoyed this book and uh, i totally see why um so i'm gonna pause here i have a little bit left so i'll definitely finish it today um but it's one o'clock so i want to get running uh, the sun has actually peeked its head out a little bit, um, so feel good about not having to run in the rain. Um, and I'm going to bring Snowy. Do you want to go for a run? You want to go running with me? <laughs> so, like I said, I only have 5K on my training plan today, so it shouldn't take me too long. We're going to go out, get this done, come back, and then I'll probably shower and get ready for the training session uh, with the students and enjoy the rest of my day after that. Events calendar for all of our student organizations. All right, so that was a whirlwind of activities. Uh, all done with the one work obligation I had this weekend, so that feels really good. So what I'm gonna do now is hop back in to Chloe Brown and probably finish it, honestly. I only have like 60 or so pages to go and I'll have another book done. Um, Brett just uh, went to go uh, meet with his family for a little bit. So I have the house to myself. The snowy went with him. So that's probably what I'm gonna do for the next little bit here. Um, and I'll check in with you guys once that's finished. All right, everybody, I finished Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the second book that I've finished in 2021. I really, really enjoyed this book. I think I'm gonna give it five stars. Um, I really thought it was a really good depiction of, you know, the insecure feeling you have when you start to like somebody and you start to date somebody. I thought it really accurately portrayed the beginning of a relationship. Um, and it was just a lot of fun. I really enjoyed reading this. I think the beginning was a little bit slow, but as you got to know the characters a little bit and they started interacting with each other. It was just so cute and so wonderful and you just get so invested in this couple. <laughs> um, and it's just, it brought a smile to my face, which is, you know, I need more books like this in my life. I feel like I read a lot of sad books. So when I find really happy books, I get really excited. 
um, and I really enjoyed it. It's a wonderful rom-com. Um, I know this is a really popular book, um, but I definitely think you should give it a try if you are looking for a romance. Um, there is a companion novel out, which follows Chloe Brown's sister, Danny. And then I think there's going to be another companion novel that comes out in March, which follows her other sister, Eve. So I'm definitely going to be reading those sometime soon. I need to order the next book so I can read it very soon. But yep, five stars. Really loved it. Very, very cute. Had a wonderful time reading it and would highly recommend. Right now, what I'm going to do is get up and start moving around because I'm like really cold. <laughs> and I think it's just because I've been sitting on my butt for the last few hours. Um, and I think I'm going to try to like tidy up. I feel like over the last few weeks, I've just like been putting things in like random piles <laughs> and not like necessarily putting things away where they need to be put away. So everything looks just like really cluttered in our apartment right now. So I think I'm going to do some tidying of the bedroom, maybe watch some YouTube videos um, and clean some stuff up. Super exciting stuff, I know, but it needs to be done. today. I did not sleep well last night and I just feel like I can just feel the exha exhaustion. Um, so today has been quite lazy so far. It's about a quarter to two and I'm about to take little girl out with me on my seven mile run just to go and get it over with. Probably not going to be <laughs> the best run of my life because I am so sleepy but I mean at least we'll get it done. I wanted to pop on here before I go out to let you know that I did start the Mountaintop School for Dogs and Other Second Chances last night. Um, I got about 43 pages into it. Um, and I did a bit of reading of that this afternoon as well. And I think I'm about like 80 pages in or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, my goal is to you know, get to like 180, so maybe do it 100 more pages but we'll just kind of see how I feel once I get back from this run and shower, what have you. Um, but mostly I just want to focus on getting this run done, getting the seven miles in. I'm just really thankful that it's only seven miles today and not like a double digit run. Um, cause those are coming up here pretty soon. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to relax for the rest of the day cause I'm really, really tired. I'm also very thankful that tomorrow I have off, um, so I can just be lazy. I was really considering bumping this run till tomorrow, but then I would be worrying about the run for two days instead of one. So I'm just gonna go get it done. And um, tomorrow will be a nice relaxing day. Um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit um, when I get back from my run and uh, jump back into reading. Good morning, happy Monday. Um, I really didn't vlog at all yesterday. I was so exhausted um, all day and I just did not have the brain capacity to do literally anything. I did get my run done, but after my run, I made food and I just didn't do anything. <laughs> um, I didn't read my 50 pages of Brave Story, but I did get to about 40% into Mountaintop School for Dogs. Exhaustion plus reading for me at least just does not work. <laughs> um, exhaustion plus pretty much anything for me. I Out of like anything that could make you uncomfortable as a person, I feel like me being tired is like I have the lowest tolerance for it. Like I'm okay with being hungry, thirsty, sore, 
that kind of stuff. But like when I'm tired, I have like, <laughs> I'm a baby. So it's Monday, I have the day off today. It's Martin Luther King Day. Um, and I just posted a Metal Monday post over on my Instagram. Um, my Run Massachusetts Challenge medal came in. Look how big this thing is. It's the size of my head. <laughs> it's so big. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It has all of the milestones uh, that I hit along the way. Um, and then the Run Mass Challenge right in the middle. And then here's the ribbon. It has the Run Mass Challenge logo and the Millennium Running logo. Millennium Running is the company that was putting the challenge on. Got my final medal of 2020 finally. Um, and I'm looking forward to hanging that up on the wall. I'm planning to take it very easy today. I don't have to do any kind of running or anything like that. Maybe I'll do a, a stretch that will probably be smart <laughs> to do. Um, but my ultimate goal is to get Mountaintop School for Dogs done. I have 60% of it left, so I think it's doable as long as I am actually making time to read. I think my Kindle says I have like four and a half hours of reading left, so it's doable. Um, but we'll just kind of see how the day unfolds. Um, and hopefully I'll get another book read before the end of this vlog. We'll see. So it's a little before 4 p.m. I read a little bit this morning and then I took Snowy to the park, um, which was packed. I kind of forgot that today was a holiday, even though I have the day off. Um, so I don't know how I forgot that the park would probably be packed. Um, but she had a really good time. Um, and then we came back and I've been reading for a couple hours and watching some YouTube videos. I do need to kind of get my act together and go to the um, grocery store to restock our fridge and our pantry because we're running low on pretty much everything. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that in a little bit here. So I'm about 60% of the way through Mountaintop School for Dogs. Um, I think I can finish it tonight maybe <laughs> that's a big maybe so i have about a hundred more pages or so to go um and it all just depends on how long it will take me to cook dinner and if there's anything else that i need to do brett and i also might be uh, watching a movie tonight if i can find the movie we want <laughs> um in our red box at the grocery store we really want to watch jojo rabbit so we can't, it's on HBO Max, but we don't have HBO anymore. We got rid of it. <laughs> so of course, like the one time we want to watch something, it's on HBO, like one of the only things that we don't have in terms of like a streaming service. Um, so I'm going to see if we can rent it. Um, so we might watch that tonight as well. Um, if you didn't know, I am doing a movie challenge um, where I watch a new to me movie one every week in the year 2021. I am doing this because I am just so awful at watching movies, <laughs> um, especially ones that people find either culturally relevant or important or ones that are super popular. Um, and we watched the trailer for Jojo Rabbit last night and both of us are very interested in watching it. So I'm going to see if we can find that. So that might happen tonight instead, um, but we'll, we'll see how the rest of the day <laughs> unfolds. I'm also um, reading on audiobook Know My Name by Chanel Miller. I got this from the library yesterday and started listening to it and oh it is gut-wrenching. Um, if you don't know the story of Chanel Miller, uh, she is the victim of uh, Brock Turner. That might be a name that rings a bell. Um, he uh, sexually assaulted her a few years ago at Stanford. He was also known as like the Stanford swimmer the Sanford swimmer case or whatever you want to call it. Basically, piece of trash. <laughs> um, and so this is her um, memoir about her experience of being a victim in that situation and how it's impacted her life. I'm only about 25% of the way through or so. Um, and I think from what I've heard from other folks is that she will not only talk about her own experience, but kind of compare it to other forms of injustice in the United States. I think we know as a society, uh, victims of sexual assault and rape are tend to not be taken very seriously um, and tend to be the ones who end up getting blamed in the long run. And so she compares that to uh, victims 
in other cases of injustice. So <laughs> it's not going to be an easy read, that's for sure, but it's a interesting listen. Um, I'm really enjoying it, even though it is super gut-wrenching. Um, so I'm listening to that, so I'll probably listen to that while I'm at the grocery store as well. Um, yeah, that will be, uh... <laughs> That'll be the next few hours here. I also need to fit in my 50 pages of Brave Story somewhere. I don't know how I'm going to do it all. We'll find out. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated. Hello. It is a little bit later. Um, and I'm done with being a responsible adult <laughs> for the evening. Um, went to the store, made dinner, ate dinner, um, paid a bunch of bills, so <laughs> I'm done with being a responsible adult. Um, it's 8.30-ish. Um, and I know I was saying, like, I need to read more uh, School for Dogs. I need to read Brave Story. We were going to watch a movie, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to get to all of those things. Um, so Brett and I decided to watch the movie, which I was able to find at the store. So we rented that, and it's a two-day rental, so we're going to watch it tomorrow night because Brett has to get up early for work tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to skip my reading of Brave Story again today <laughs> um, and focus on Mountaintop School for Dogs. So what I'm going to do now is just settle in get into my PJs and read my Kindle until I'm done. Um, it might, I might be able to finish it tonight. I don't know. Like once I get tired, I just, I will fall asleep, <laughs> but hopefully I can get a good chunk of it done. And if I don't get it done tonight, I'll definitely get it done tomorrow. Um, tomorrow morning I have to wake up and walk to the dentist. Um, our dentist is really close by, so walking distance, um, because I have a dentist appointment in the morning, and then obviously I have work, and I'll have to do a run tomorrow, so it's gonna be busy, but I, if I, if I don't get my book done today, I'll get it done tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. I'll keep you guys up to date. I might check in with you tonight, I might check in with you guys tomorrow morning, um, based on when Brett goes to bed. <laughs> so I don't want to keep him up with me talking to the camera, but that's the plan. Go team, let's get this one. chilly morning. It's Tuesday and I'm walking to my dentist appointment. As kind of predicted, I didn't end up finishing the book last night. Um, I got to about 81% before I got tired and went to sleep. <laughs> um, so I have a little bit of the book left. So I'm going to extend this vlog to today um, and wrap up when I finish that book. So um, today is a work day. So going to get uh, my teeth looked at, regular routine checkup, nothing special, um, and then I'm going to come back and get to work a little bit. Um, I do have a five mile run on the schedule, um, but I have to take a look at my calendar to see what my day looks like because I honestly don't know. Um, I may have to shift some things around in the old schedule this week uh, to accommodate different runs. I think I'm pretty sure I have two five mile runs or maybe a five and a six this week. And for my long run on Sunday, it's 12 miles this week. So um, we'll see how the week shakes out. Um, always have to battle, you know, sunlight, um, weather, etc. Mainly sunlight is the big concern for me. Um, and we don't have access to gyms at the moment. At least not that I'm aware of. I have to double check on that. I don't remember. I don't know when they're opening back up, if they're opening back up. Because cases are spiking like crazy in my state and across the entire US. So, um, but yeah, I will check in with you guys after my dentist appointment. 
when I get back home. All right, made it home. Had a little bit of a debacle when I got home. Um, I think Snowy was pretty nervous about the fact that Brett and I were both out of the house. We've left her alone before and she's been fine. Um, but when I came back, we keep her in our bedroom. We'll close the door so she's like, she's not roaming the entire apartment, but she'll just be in the bedroom because that's where her crate is, her toys and things like that. And she likes to sleep on our bed. But when I came back, she had an accident on the bed, which is weird because um, I had taken her out before I left and she went to the bathroom. But when I came back, she had an accident on the bed. So I just had to clean up <laughs> the uh, sheets and everything. I rinse them out uh, in the tub and then I'll bring them to the laundromat once Brett comes back with the car. But poor thing was probably really nervous that we both, Brett and I both woke up. We said good morning to her. She kind of got out of bed and then both of us left um, at different times. So that's like kind of the first instance of uh, separation anxiety that we've seen. Um, the other day she did chew on a book while we were gone. So like I, like I showed you. So I don't know if she's just getting anxious when we leave because we're around literally all the time. Um, so we'll have to work on that a little bit, but finally home. And I was just gonna pop on here to make fun of myself <laughs> because I have this thing where in the mornings especially, but I feel like throughout the day, I always have like multiple beverages in my presence that I'm drinking out of. <laughs> and it's on the next level this morning. I don't know what my problem is. We'll start with our beautiful iced coffee that I just made for myself. I also wanted to make a smoothie so I can get some greens and some nutrients in me. I started drinking a seltzer while I was eating a bagel, and of course I have water. So I have four different beverages because I'm crazy. <laughs> you doing okay, Snowy? You doing all right? I love you. Yeah, I love you. You're so cute. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Aww. I'm here. I'm home. Okay. All right. So it's almost 1230. Taking a little break from work. And I wanted to chat with you because I did finish the Mountaintop School for Dogs and Other Second Chances by Ellen Cooney. Again, I read this on my Kindle, so it's always good to get another Kindle book read. I think I only have like a handful of unread Kindle books at this point in time. I know a few years ago I made a Kindle TBR video. I think I wanna say it had about um, 15 to 20 unread books. And I think right now I only have about five or maybe even less than that books on my Kindle left to read, which is awesome. So the Mountaintop School for Dogs and Other Second Chances is about um, a girl named Evie. She is feeling like she's a little lost in life. Uh, she's dealing with addiction um, and wants to take control of her life again and what she does is she signs up from a internet ad for um, dog trainers she signs up to become one it's a school for dog trainers kind of it's more of a dog sanctuary but she doesn't know that until she gets there and essentially it's this place on the mountain where um, the folks who work there take in dogs who are rescues um, from different situations um, and kind of shelter these unadoptable dogs in a mountain type environment. Some of them, they get rehabilitated so that they can be adopted one day. Um, some of them, they train to be search and rescue dogs. Some of them, they train to be sled dogs. So it's a very versatile place, this mountaintop school for dogs. So we follow Evie and her journey of kind of becoming a teacher to these dogs. And through the text, you kind of learn about training and the way some folks treat dogs and what you should do um, as somebody who is training a dog, which I thought was really interesting. Um, but ultimately, I thought this book didn't really have a plot to it. Um, 
and it wasn't really a character study so it was like kind of like nothing there was like nothing to the story um which was disappointing evie arrives to this school for dogs and she learns a little bit about each of the dogs personalities that she's responsible for and there are some scenes where um she's kind of training the dogs and she's being successful and blah blah blah, blah. but there really isn't any like plot there's no overcoming of an obstacle really it's just kind of there <laughs> so i wasn't a big fan of this book um i did read it rather quickly it's easy to get through but there wasn't much to it um and you know kind of disappointing you want to have a plot to the book that you're reading right you want to be engaged and you know swept up in the story but i really don't think there was like a lot of story to it um so i don't really know i ended up giving it two stars i think that's a fair rating for it and it was one of the lower rated books on my tbr i know a few years ago i did a reading my highest and lowest rated books on my tbr project that i never ended up finishing but this was on the lower end it was in my lowest five books on my tbr um and i get it i get i get it there wasn't a lot to it um so i ended up giving it two stars and i think it, it averages around like three and a half stars or maybe 3.2 stars or something like that on goodreads um so it's not great <laughs> um i wouldn't recommend it i don't think um unless you are looking specifically for books that talk about dog rescue. That's the one part of the book that I did like was learning about the dog rescue and like different techniques for training. I really like that as a dog owner and a person who loves dogs. But at the end of the day, there just wasn't a lot to the story. So two stars. And that's another book off my TBR. So with that being said, I'm going to end this vlog here. Currently reading Know My Name by Chanel Miller. I'm going to be continuing to listen to that over the next couple of days. I'm going to get back on my 50 pages a day of Brave Story because I put it down for a couple of days. So that will be the thing I focus on over the next couple of days. I also have a buddy read coming up with my pal Michael. We're going to be reading Ready Player Two together starting this week. Um, I think we're going to start Thursday my time, Friday his time. He's in Australia, so he's a little bit ahead of me. So if I start on Thursday night, we'll be reading at the same time. <laughs> so that's the plan for reading. I'm definitely planning on doing more reading vlogs throughout 2021, whenever the mood moves me. So be on the lookout for more reading vlogs from me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye!